Hi guys, it's Axel 667 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom thumbnails, which is a very, very easy process that you can do in minutes. But, but let's say you want to make your, your thumbnail before you make your video just to get it over with. Well, this is how you do it. So, let's get started. So, what you're going to need is a camera and a tripod to keep it steady, or you can use boxes. And it doesn't have to be a high-tech camera like this, but I'm using a Canon Rebel XSI. I know, so old, so old. As it says right there, but it still works well. And I'm using this RCA um, tripod. I don't know. And you can do that, something like that. So I have it at like the perfect part right now. And I'm gonna go put this on my bed so you can see it a little better. So this really isn't on my bed, it's just stacked up on a bunch of boxes. And as you can see here, you can see the reflection. But I think I'm gonna stand up just so you don't see my face. So what we're gonna do is position the camera right where we want it. Don't forget to turn it on. And this part, I'm going to have to move it. Okay, so I just have to make sure it's good because I'm not allowed to show my face. So, now that you have the camera ready, what you're going to want to do is position your doll however you want it to, however you want it to look. Um, so, since this is a custom thumbnail video, I think what I'm going to do is I've already made a video where she's like that. So I think what I'm going to do is do this, but make her go down a little bit so the text can go right above her head. And then what we're going to do is come over here and take our picture. Okay, so we zoomed out a little bit. I'm sorry if you see Tabby laying on the floor over there. Wow, this is actually really focused. I'm going to cherish this moment. You can see my minion shirt in the plastic thing right there. Minion! I love minions. I have two of these shirts. So the one's different. So you're gonna take your picture, make sure it's good, and take I'm gonna take a second picture just in case. And then what I'm gonna do is just look at both pictures if they look since they look exactly the same, I'm just gonna delete one. So now you can turn it off and take your memory card out. Mine it ejects right there. As you can see it has this little thing latch right here that you slide out and that an annoying strap and then you push it and the card comes out. Then what we're gonna do is walk on over to the computer and um put the picture on and start editing it. So I'm gonna sit down but as you can see right here this is not the picture This is just one that I'm working on for my updates video. So I took a picture of Kit and see she has her arm that way. It says, yay, very important updates with Laxa 667. And I guess we will put the link down below. So, yeah. So for me, I have mine plugged into the wall. But yours might just have a slit for your memory card on the computer, I'm talking about the computer, that you can just push it in. But mine, we have this little box over here, and there's a slit in the back that I just put it in. And then on the computer, it pops up right there, it says EOS Digital. I'm not going to click on that, because iPhoto is going to pop up. Let's wait for it. Yay, there it is. I have an Apple thingamajig. And you're not going to exit out. That's what I like to do. I like to do that with videos. Because on iMovie, you can just import them from there. But what we're going to do is click this and put it... Oh, wait, no. Uh, actually, don't listen to me with the error. Here, you have to import the picture. And what you can do is keep or delete. I'm going to delete, so then it's just right off the memory card. Then you're going to take it and drag it onto the desktop. Then you can hit Command Q or Command Quit, or you can just click the red X. But here, now what I do is I right-click, 
and eject EOS Digital. And disappears and I unplug it. So now with that, I don't use those editors like PicMonkey. Instead I do it in a much easier way. Just double click it and your picture pops up in this big screen with this big or this long rectangle, gray rectangle on top. I click the toolbox and before I do anything, I change my size. I downsize the thing, the picture. Now what I do is a 30. I feel it works better because that's what I did on my mini grace video for the thumbnail. Now you can see it looks pretty small, but actually this works perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is go to this A up here, and I'm going to change my um, font to something like Abbot Zafino, which is a cursive type print. And you don't want to use too light, that's too light of a color, that, that's what happened on my mini grace video, you can't even see the text. So I think I'm going to use black, yeah, black. Now I'm going to make sure to put the text away from the chalkboard right there because it's black as well. So now I'm going to click on this T right here, right, unclick it, and then click on the T, and text should pop up. Then what I'm going to do is take the glove, Mickey Mouse glove, drag it up there, and make it bigger, make it smaller, well actually make it wider. And then I'm going to click it, no I don't want to move it, I'm going to try to click it, okay, there. Then what I'm going to do is write how... Okay, I'm going to have to make this smaller, but how to create a custom thumbnail. So I have done that, and this is the thumbnail that is going to be on this video. But now I can add a shape or something. If, let's say I add a star, I can make it any color, and this, you can't really see it right now. But right here, there's a square and a circle. And there's a star pattern and a bunch of other shapes. And I've already done the speech bubble, the rounded square, the star. Um, I think I'll do the speech bubble again and then make it a different color. So I will make this dark blue and just put something in it. So we have our text on here. And so... I, why did I click that? So now what I'm going to do is, well, you can add whatever you want. Um, there's much more to this. But now all I have to do actually is click the X. Don't worry, this will save it. So I've clicked the X. Now it saved it because if I double click this, bam. It just made the screen a little bigger, but it's still the same size. See, I'll show you. It's still at 30 and 20. I can just click OK. It looks exactly the same. So now that we have that, all you have to do is upload your video. And then on YouTube, it will say custom thumbnail. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like with my other video. OK, so I'm filming on my computer. And as you can see, it says select files to upload. So what I am going to do is just get my very important updates video and drag it onto there. Drag it and drop it. If this will X out. And I'm just going to write the description and the tags and then I'll show you guys the custom thumbnail. So I've made all my tags and I've put my links and stuff um, on my video. So now down here, um, it says custom thumbnail. What you're going to do is click that and then this list will come up and then we'll, uh, okay you guys didn't see my name, but desktop it should say image, stuff like that unless you put it in a folder and mine is 18140 so I'm gonna choose this one choose and then it will upload and sometimes it will say something's wrong but with the size that I've chose nothing's wrong with it and then it will have a red box around it this will probably still have the regular one so on mobile devices they will see this probably but still it's got the red box around it, so once it's done processing, or if you just want to wait, then click publish, and done.
So it's so simple, and I'm going to be doing the same thing for this video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!